Overseas markets rallied this morning after big gains in Wall Street yesterday. Early show national correspondent Jeff Glory is live at the New York Stock Exchange with more. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Russ, good morning to you. We're a wild days here have kind of become the norm. Keep in mind that yesterday afternoon at 1 o'clock, the Dow Jones was down 316 points. It finished up 553. So in the span of three hours, that's a swing of nearly 900. The Dow went for a trampoline ride Thursday, but don't expect the economy as a whole to bounce back nearly as fast. We are faced with the prospect of a global meltdown. Which is why the president and others are using such strong language in advance of this weekend's 20-nation economic summit in Washington. I think this could go on for a while. What was a subprime mortgage crisis has become a consumer confidence crisis and a budget crisis for state and local governments, a many tentacled economic monster proving tough to slay. There's so many problem areas, we don't quite know which one to, uh, to, to pay attention to first. They're all bad. Plenty are trying. On Thursday, lawmakers grilled bank executives on what they're doing, or maybe not doing, with the money they got from the $700 billion government rescue plan. It is still confounding to me why the Secretary of the Treasury and others refuse to understand this is the heart of the problem. Democrats are urging significant help for the ailing auto industry. Republicans are resisting, as the bailout plan keeps evolving. President Bush urged patience. This crisis did not develop overnight. And it's not going to be solved overnight. President Bush delivered this passionate speech in defense of the free market system yesterday and looking long term. Unfortunately, that doesn't really help in the short term. Russ?